I'm Mr. Switek. Hi, I'm Mrs. Gutierrez. This is the Academy of Computer Science. Everybody and welcome to the Academy of Computer Science. We're going to hear from Mrs. G in just a little bit when she talks about an amazing new program that she started here at the Academy this year. Now we're all motivated by money, right? Yeah, of course we want to love our job, but ultimately we have to be making money in order to survive. Now, if we take a look at a recent survey, we see that computer science graduates with a bachelor's degree are coming out of college and earning the second most on average of any other career choice that students are making. If you are willing to put in the hard work and if you are willing to put in the time, then you yourself can be extremely successful right out of college. And the Academy of Computer Science is going to help to set you up on that correct path. Now this program is made up of six classes over four years. In your freshman year, you're going to take a class called DIT, or Digital Information Technology, which is a basic computer course. You're also going to take a class called Programming Essentials, where we introduce you to the uh, wonderful world of computer science and programming. In your second year, you're going to take a class called Web Technologies, and in that class, it is all about the World Wide Web. You're going to be developing your own websites, your own web pages, you're going to be publishing them online, the world is going to be able to see your creations. It's one of my favorite courses to teach because the students can be so incredibly creative. And also in your second year, you're going to take your first of two AP Computer Science courses. You're going to take AP Computer Science Principles. And this is a college level course that introduces you to computer science. And we also do a little bit of programming thrown in there as well. In your third year of the program, you're going to take your second AP course called AP Computer Science A. And AP Computer Science A is all about Java programming. There's nothing else other than programming in that particular course. It's one of the more challenging ones, but it is also one of the most rewarding. And then finally, in your senior year, your fourth year in the program, you're going to take Cybersecurity Fundamentals. And in that class, it's all about protecting yourself. It's about protecting your computers, protecting servers, protecting networks. You're going to learn about encryption and cryptography and hacking and all kinds of amazing stuff. It's probably my favorite class to teach. We are going to exercise your brains here at Citrus High School. Because in addition to those two AP Computer Science courses, you are also going to have offered to you more than 20 AP courses across a wide variety of subjects. We also offer 35 honors courses here at Citrus High School. And of course, once you become an 11th grader, we do offer dual enrollment here at Citrus High School as well. So you can be in high school, but take college classes at CF at the same time. Now, what kind of student are we looking for? Yes, we're looking for that really good student. We're looking for that student that has an AB, but those of you that might have had a C or something down the road, don't even sweat, dog. You can still apply. It's all good. We understand that some of you are taking really hard classes in middle school. That's perfectly fine. We're looking for students that do have good attendance. Attendance is important, guys, because a lot of these classes build on one another throughout the year. So we want to make sure that you're here so you can be successful in those classes. And of course, we want somebody who isn't going to be a discipline problem. Now, we understand that we all make mistakes, right? I was in sixth grade once a really, really long time ago. but. I made mistakes in middle school. So if you had that one mistake or maybe lapse in judgment, go ahead and apply anyway. We encourage you to go ahead and apply because we look at you as a whole. We look at our students, the overall student, not just one particular thing. We're looking specifically for students who are creative. Programming is one of the most creative endeavors you can take on. It is an amazing way to unleash your creativity and those are the kinds of kids we're looking for. We're looking for students who can be great collaborators. In this program, you're going to do a lot of collaboration, a lot of project work with your classmates, and a good collaboration skills is really important. And also, we're looking for students who never think, I can't do this. We want students who come in here thinking, I can do this, I'm going to learn how to do this, and you know what? I'm not going to be afraid to fail. Now, I'm not talking about failing your class. 
If you do the work, you're going to be successful in your classes. I'm talking about being afraid not to try. One of the things that I love about this program is just how involved our academy students are in the Citrus High School community. We have students participating in every single sport we offer, in every single activity we offer, and in every single club we offer here at Citrus High School. In fact, I'm going to go ahead and pass it off to Mrs. G right now, and she's going to talk about a really fantastic, exciting opportunity she's just started this year called Girls Who Code. But don't worry, guys. It's available to you also. So Mrs. G, take it away. Hello, my name is Heidi Gutierrez, better known as Mrs. G. Did you know that only 26% of computer science related employees are women? And did you know that out of that 26%, only 11% are minorities? At Citrus High School, we work tirelessly to provide only the best skills and resources to students of all races, genders, and backgrounds. As part of the Academy of Computer Science's effort to close the gender gap in technology, we offer our students access to Girls Who Code. Girls Who Code is not only a club, but it is a learning hub for young ladies interested in pursuing a career in tech. Girls Who Code is an international organization that provides students with programming skills in Scratch, Swift, Python, and JavaScript. Help us close the gender gap in tech. Join the Academy of Computer Science at Citrus High School. Now, one of the other awesome things we do in this program is we participate in competitions, we participate in online contests and things like that. And last year, one of our students, a young man named Xander, went on to win the Congressional App Challenge for our district here in the state of Florida. And Xander won our region. Now, that came along with an invitation to present his app at the U.S. Capitol Building. Unfortunately, because of lousy COVID, that trip was canceled, but it was still an amazing honor nonetheless. And, oh yeah, Xander also found out about this just a couple of weeks ago. I'm going to Princeton! No! <laughs> That's right, Xander earned himself a full-ride scholarship to an Ivy League school called Princeton University. Xander was a four-year student of mine in this program, and I could not be more proud of the work he's done and the commitment he's had to his education that scholarship alone is worth more than $300,000. We also had another student graduate last year. His name is Brendan. Brendan is currently studying computer science at the University of Central Florida in Orlando. He also earned a full ride scholarship and that scholarship is worth more than $100,000. So guys, we would encourage you to apply for this program. Whether you are interested in computer science or not, the skills that you're going to learn in this program are gonna be valuable in whatever career you decide to get into. There is the application link. Applications are gonna be due by February 12th. I'm excited to call you a hurricane. I'm excited to see you as part of the Academy of Computer Science.